The universe holds the most breathtaking spectacles, whether it's light displays, solar and lunar eclipses, or glimmering meteor showers. The natural phenomena that regularly occur in space leave us in awe time and again. While some events can be observed quite frequently in the night sky, other galactic events occur at intervals of several thousand years. Experts are therefore all the more delighted when they manage to observe such a rare phenomenon firsthand. Just what fascinating event the experts witnessed a few weeks ago, and which comparable spectacles give the universe its cosmic beauty, you'll find out in this video. Are you enthusiastic about the breathtaking phenomena in the universe? Then consider subscribing to our channel to learn more about unique interstellar happenings in the future. If we keep you engaged with our content, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Impressive Meteor Shower When comet debris burns up in the Earth's atmosphere, it results in a sparkling natural spectacle called a meteor shower. In the past, some galactic paths have emerged, tracks on which the corresponding debris preferentially follows orbit. The shorter the intervals between the meteor showers are, the easier it is for experts to trace the regularly executed paths. In this way, it's also possible for scientists to determine the host comet of a meteor shower. However, this task was much more difficult for a meteor stream that appears only about every 4,000 years. In April of this year, the experts witnessed a fascinating shooting star shower, the origin of which they were initially unable to identify. Ultimately, they succeeded in identifying a certain regularity in a long-period comet, and thus the source of this enchanting spectacle. Specifically, the experts realized that the host comet C2002Y1 Jules Holversem takes about 3,967 years to orbit the Sun. The last time the compound of ice, dust, and rock visited our host star was in 2003. Accordingly, the comet's previous solar detachment can be dated to the period around the year 2000 BC. Since the detailed investigation of these long-period missiles proves to be extremely complicated, experts have only been able to identify five of these special host bodies in the past, whose ejected particles are responsible for the enchanting spectacles in our terrestrial night sky. Within the framework of a large-scale research project, which included many observing stations in various countries, experts recently managed to significantly expand the list of long-period comets that result in recurring comet showers. To do this, the experts scanned the firmament for meteors, the objects we have colloquially referred to as shooting stars. Based on their observations, the trajectories of the celestial bodies could be analyzed and compared with the records of a NASA database. This cosmic treasure trove of knowledge, however, comprises information from more than a decade. So scientists finally recognized that at least nine meteor showers correspond to the trajectories of long-period comets. In contrast to the already-mentioned comet, whose orbital period around the Sun amounts to nearly 4,000 years, the other examined objects come along with comparatively short rotation periods. The orbital period of most of the investigated comets boils down to a period between 400 and 800 years. However, there are also some outliers that need more than 1,000 years to circle the host star of our solar system once. In the course of their work, the experts again came across an unexpected detail. Meteor showers originating from long-period comets tend to last several days, while their radiant, their point of origin in the sky, seems to shift further and further away. The first conjectures say that this perplexing circumstance could be attributed to the temporarily changed trajectories of the comets. Since this would mean that the orbits of the comets change gradually over the course of the time, experts appeared all the more surprised by this new realization. How do meteor showers occur? With such amazing meteor showers, the question arises as to how this galactic spectacle is created in the first place. Meteor showers or streams are often called meteorite showers by mistake. One speaks of a meteorite, however, only when the galactic solid body crosses the Earth's atmosphere and ultimately hits the surface of our earthly home. However, since the corresponding formations burn up in the surrounding gas shell of our home planet before they reach the ground, 
They are called meteors. The breathtaking shooting star groupings can occur when our Earth crosses the orbit of a comet during its orbit around the Sun. As soon as a comet approaches the Sun at a certain distance, the intense radiation causes the structure to lose some of its mass. Over the course of time, the pieces of dust and rock that fall off in the process are in turn distributed over large parts of the comet's original orbit. If the Earth, on its journey around the Sun, encounters such a galactic particle cluster, the small particles enter our atmosphere, where they ultimately evaporate. Due to the fact that the particles accumulate on the trajectory of the comet, as mentioned above, and the Earth follows a fixed rotation curve around the Sun, most meteor streams observable from Earth show a certain regularity. To define the intensity of a meteor stream, experts use the so-called zenithal hourly rate. This ZHR value indicates how many meteors are visible within one hour under ideal conditions. Quadrantids Among the most active shooting star events that can be observed regularly are the so-called quadrantids. This is a recurring meteor shower that mostly occurs between December 28th and January 12th. The radiant, or apparent origin of the quadrantids, is located in the constellation of the Bear Keeper. This phenomenon usually reaches its galactic zenith in the night from January 3rd to January 4th. During this period, which is only a few hours, under favorable conditions, more than 100 shooting stars can be seen in the firmament within one hour. In some years, even 200 meteors in 60 minutes have been counted during the corresponding time. During this time, the meteors race across the night sky with a speed of 25 miles per second. The quadrantids were discovered for the first time in 1825, when Italian researchers became aware of unusually intense meteor showers. Although we've known already for nearly 200 years about the existence of this cosmic phenomenon, for a long period we knew nothing about the host comet of the Quadrantids. The celestial object 2003 EH1, discovered at the beginning of the millennium, is currently considered the most promising candidate when it comes to the question of the source of the recurring meteor stream. Currently, experts assume that it's the inactive remnant of a once significantly larger cometary nucleus. This could have broken apart in the course of the millennia, whereby 2003 EH1 and also the Quadrantids developed. The actual origin comet could be C1490Y1. These assumptions suggest comparisons of the orbital elements. This celestial object was discovered more than 500 years ago by Chinese scholars. Geminids in terms of intensity, the quadrantids are only surpassed by the geminids. In fact, this meteor shower, whose peak occurs every year around December 14th, is considered the strongest shooting star event we can see in the firmament. Translated from Latin, the word Gemini means twins. The origin of the name of the meteor stream comes from the fact that the radiant of the phenomenon is located in the constellation of Gemini. Compared to the meteors that burn up in the Earth's atmosphere during the quadrantid shower, the objects of the Geminids seem much more spectacular. This is mainly due to the fact that this galactic shower produces particularly bright yellow-white formations, while the quadrantids appear relatively dark. Thanks to the favorable spatial constellation between the radiant and the sun, the geminids can sometimes be seen not only in the hours before dawn, but sometimes during the evening hours too. Especially interesting is the fact that the intensity of the meteor shower has increased in the last few decades. While the maximum zenithal hourly rate of the Geminids was 160 in 2013 and 2014, the corresponding value was 200 only one year later. With a ZHR value of 150 and 140, respectively, the development declined again in the two following years. Responsible for this impressive spectacle is the debris ejected from the asteroid 3200 Phaeton. The corresponding original body needs not even 1.5 years to orbit the Sun completely. In the past, experts believe that 3200 Phaeton could be an inactive comet that has completely lost its volatile dust and gas components. The large mass of debris regularly entering the Earth's atmosphere would be due to the fact that the celestial object had begun to disintegrate. However, a measurement carried out by the stereo space probes a few years ago proved that 3200 Phaeton shows signs of regular matter emissions. 
This so-called outgassing made the thesis that the host object was an extinct comet invalid for the time being. In order to get to the bottom of the origin of the Geminids, the Japanese space agency JAXA wants to implement a large-scale project next year. The unmanned spacecraft Destiny Plus will examine the asteroid 3200 Phaeton in detail and answer the origin question of the Geminids once and for all. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the amazing meteor showers that we can marvel at from Earth every now and then? Have you ever witnessed such a phenomenon with your own eyes? Write us your experiences, your thoughts, and your feedback in the comments. Please also take a look at the other exciting videos that we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your great interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.